Now one specific aspect of behavior that warrants special attention is diet. Diet tells us a huge amount about an organism. From an evolutionary standpoint, you really are what you eat, in the sense that knowing an organism's diet tells us about how it moves about in the environment it occupies, what kind of behaviors it regularly engages in within that environment, and what kind of organisms it interacts with. Human diet is broad and varied, and yet there's a lot of evidence in the fossil record that informs us about human dietary practices. I've already mentioned the fact that archaeological tools sometimes preserve a residue on the material they were used on, including potential food items. Likewise, the basic structure of our teeth tells us something about the foods that we eat. Human dentition is very generalized, so it doesn't tell us specific things about our food, but nevertheless it provides a lot of information. But we can look even in more detail by actually looking at some chemical signals from human bone and dental tissues. It turns out your teeth actually begin to incorporate chemical signals of the food that you're eating, particularly distributions along predator to prey axis in terms of how high up the food chain you are. So by doing chemical analyses of the stable isotopes within our teeth, and other small uh, mineral components of our teeth, we can begin to actually reconstruct what specifically humans ate or where in the environment they ate specific foods. So this is another very valuable uh, tool in our toolkit to try and reconstruct behavior as it relates to diet. So stable isotope analyses and other micro-mineral analyses are important components of understanding the diet of our ancient ancestors.